Hi, um, on this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to create your own filled, custom filter, filters for all the reports that you have in the system. This will enable you to quickly access data every time you go back and you know, try to look for something. Uh, the predefined filters um, are currently here. And if you keep scrolling down, I added a few more variables um, in addition to cities. So you can you know, show me which ones have been immunized for MMR. Let's say yes. And then you're going to get a list of the ones that have been immunized uh, for this disease. In this case, it's only one record. But um, let's see, how do you build your own custom filter? And this is something that it's very simple to do. If you click on the search word here, you're going to get a ton of options that you could filter your data from. For example, you could say uh, the higher date to be uh, in the last month, for example. And then, well, actually, let's make it this year so that we get uh, several uh, records here. And then race, we can say that uh, you would like the race to be white. And then sex, let's say that we want females only. So in this search, we have white females that were hired this year. And if I click search, I'm going to get the results for that information. Once I have the search completed and that I validated that it is what I want, um, all I need to do, and if you see here, it's only female, white females, and the higher date, it belongs only to this year. So you go to the top here on the, the title of the, the form, and you once you scroll your cursor over, you're going to see a few options here. You're going to see save changes as a new view. So you click there and then you're going to have a name for this report, for this search that you just did, which is white females hired this year. The males. Oops. There you go hired this year. You click Save and the system will automatically save that report for you as a custom filter. And where do you find the custom filters? Well, it's uh, right here. You see, I already saved a few for the, you here. If you click Employee Info, which is the name of the table, you will get the full record database. This is important because you may want to go back to the initial you know, setup. So you click to can you have to cancel out of all the searches, click employee info, and you will have the complete database available. But now if you wanna, you know, let's say you come back tomorrow and you want to look for white females hired yesterday, this year, uh, you don't need to do the search again. You just come here to the saved view and click on white females hired this year. Um, kaboom, the report will be you know built built automatically for you. So this way you can, you know, create your own reports, save them as you go. You can teach other people how to do this. Uh, although I would not advise, you know, uh, to do that because then you're going to have a very long list of saved views here. But if that occurs, the only thing that you can do is click delete on this view, you know, the Make sure, make sure that you're not on the name of the table because if you click delete on the name of the report, you will be deleting the whole report, including the data that it's under. So make sure that you're only deleting the saved views. And this is completely safe to do, okay? So once you do that, uh, you're good to go with creating your own custom filters. And uh, if you need additional predefined filters like the goal the ones that go here on this little drop-down box, uh, just let me know and I'll make sure to include them. But uh, this way you have your own uh, method of creating your custom reports and filters 
So that way um, you don't have to you know, contact me every time you need an additional change. So hope this helps and let me know if you have any other questions. Thank you.